Rock stars, welcome to the shop. I'm Daniel with Bearded Viking Woodworks. In my last video, I told y'all that I was going to be pushing out as much content as possible. That way I could keep y'all busy during the fall rush. Well, we're going to jump right back in with today's video, building some more fall projects. Did you happen to miss my last video? If so, don't worry, I got you. I'll leave a link to it right chat. Let's go to work. Our first project is a two for one, my favorite type of project. What you're gonna need is three six foot fence pickets, an impact driver, a circular saw, and some inch and a quarter screws. We'll start off by cutting two of our fence pickets directly in half. Here I'm just squaring up one end of each picket. Check and see what your measurement is overall. And I've got 71, so I'm gonna cut these at 35 and a half. Make sure you're flush at both ends and go ahead and get this cut. I'm using a circular saw just to demonstrate that you can get this achieved without a miter box. So we will use three of these be the backer and this last piece that we have out of cutting those two in half we're going to cut it down to 27 inches be sure to hit that like button with our third fence picket we'll go ahead and cut one more of these at 27 inches Actually want that <laughs> for the remainder of that third piece that we cut off we're just gonna set that to the side because that will come in handy a little later in the video go ahead and get your three pieces laid out making sure you're flush at the bottom and top and for our separator here I'm gonna just kind of play around until I like what I see as far as where I want to install it so basically from the top down on the left side eight and a quarter and the top down on the right side eleven and three quarters and we're going to install two screws on each edge and then two right in the center We'll flip our piece over and install our second piece that is 27 on the opposite side of our first piece. All right, gang, I'm here outside because we're about to do some spray painting. I'm no artist, so don't judge me. <laughs> for the one side, I am going to go ahead with the snowman. But for our opposite side, I've got something special. Now for the snowman, we're just going to apply some black spray paint for the top hat and of course paint the body white. And we'll spray a little bit on the hat just to act as some snow. And I'll try my best on the face. <laughs> I told him I wasn't no artist. Well, it was Rudolph with a red nose. Yeah. Snowman has an orange white because it's supposed to be a carrot. Well, I don't have orange paint. I could probably do. Like that? Like it's a carrot. Yeah, I know, but going up this way? Or going out that way? But up and out? Yeah. All right. Mrs. Viking saves the day. I got some orange paint that I'm going to do my best to paint a carrot. Hmm. A little suspect. It's supposed to make, like, right in the middle. That end's supposed to be bigger, yeah. I'm, I'm getting there, I think. Yeah. I think it looks perfect. Me too. We'll name him Jack. Now for the opposite side, you can do whatever you like, but on this one, I'm gonna be doing a turkey for a reason. We'll get that top hat painted black. Let me write my gang sign. <laughs> okay, the eyeballs. I remember back in my teenage years going hunting and I remember vividly popping my first turkey. 
and I recently heard that there's someone else who popped their first turkey a couple years ago as well. So as the Thanksgiving holidays roll around, I want y'all to tell me what y'all are thankful for. I'm gonna tell you really quick what I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for Jack. Not this Jack, a different Jack. Jack Plowman. Jack Plowman is a young man, 16 years old, in the fight of his life. And he's fighting and inspiring so many around him, especially his grandfather Bucky and Bucky's sister Catherine. And I wanna let you know, Jack, that you have inspired me even though I've never met you. Your story will resonate forever. Keep fighting, brother. Skull. Now, obviously, they make stencils that you can stencil on with the paint and do a lot better of a job than I did. <laughs> but I kind of like the authenticity of it, you know? So let's break down the cost. For the fence pickets, we got right around $2.80, $3 per fence picket. If you want to use cedar, those are a bit more expensive. So let's just do three at three. So nine, ten dollars for material. I've got the paint calculated at around another two to three bucks. So overall, we'll give it $17 to produce this project. Now here's where it gets crazy. Look at what they're going for at the big box stores. <laughs> that is insane. And this project is a must have for your holiday and fall decor. Now, would I price it at that much on my Etsy shop or at the local markets? No, I don't think that's a just price. I would take it to about 50 to 60 bucks and I would be able to sleep at night with that price. This next project is controversial and I wanna know your honest thoughts about it. But first, we gotta build it. Now, literally, for this project, all you need is a 2x6 that is at least 12 inches long. And we're going to rip it into inch and a half rips. After you get those ripped, go ahead and cut all these pieces to 6 inches. Then we're gonna take and put a chamfer on all the corners except for a couple. I'll mark out which sides get that chamfer and go ahead and rock and roll. Now if you don't have a router or a 45 router bit, don't worry about it. You can take care of that right here at the table saw. We added that chamfer to all of the outside corners, leaving the inside corners without the chamfer. And we're gonna glue these up in threes. Add a dab of glue. We'll set these aside and let them dry. And I'll meet you back here. All right, now that those are all dry, we'll go ahead and glue these together. Add a dab of glue. All right, one more dry time, and I'll meet you back here in no time. Great, now that this is dry, we're gonna go back to the router table one more time. We're just gonna chamfer the top and the bottom on all sides, and then sand this down to 150 grit. Now we're gonna go ahead and paint this thing orange because as you might have guessed, this is a pumpkin. Now while I paint this pumpkin, I wanna direct you to the description of this video where you can go check out the Patreon or check out our YouTube memberships and our Facebook group. So what I've done here is taken my infamous rope and I unthreaded it to these smaller pieces. We're gonna take and CA glue it right around the front all the way to the back. Let me demonstrate. So we'll start at the bottom and add a dab of glue. Just 
press that down in there. Hit it with a little bit of activator. Spin it over. Do the same thing. Add a dab of glue. Pull nice and snug. Set right inside that crevice. And hit it with some activator. We'll cut off that excess. And then do the same thing on our next piece. Now, before we do our sides, I'm going to add my top here. So I've got a piece of sapile that I'm going to use as a contrasting wood and just glue it right to the very top, dead center. And cut it flush right here where it meets the other rope. Add a dab of glue. Nice. And we'll do that same thing on this other side. Add a little ribbon type of deal right here up top. Well, I must say, out of all the pumpkins that I've built in the last couple of videos, I think this one might just be my favorite. Let's dig in to what these are going for. So after doing just a little bit of research, check this out. <laughs> Whoa, for a set of three, $89.99, so 90 bucks, that's crazy. The dimensions of theirs, are three and a half by four and a half. They're tiny. They're smaller than this one. So if you think about the material cost, I mean, it's a 12 inch two by six. That's like a dollar 80. Then you got your little bit of rope and then your paint. You're looking at a few bucks to build one of these. So ultimately to build three, you're looking at about maybe $18, maybe. That's high end. That my friends will produce a huge profit <laughs> i would price three of these at about 45 50 bucks maybe maximum well rock stars i've got some work to do to get this next video out i'm gonna keep y'all busy as possible until next time get in your shop and make some sawdust scott